just how bad does a chambered muffler affect spool in a turbo car? As stated before this right here is just a basically a, a little more data um, on the car uh, in continuation from my last video of my dyno runs now I'll also replay that section of the video so you can hear when the electric cutout is being used and when it's not and you'll also notice that the dyno runs are run literally back to back with you i didn't really think the muffler was gonna change that much power wise but goodness gracious it really did so here are the actual numbers you can get a little closer there 85 degrees blah 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 humidity but with the valve closed it made 373.53 horse and with 422 foot pounds of torque now when you open the valve up you can see directly right below it 398.89 so basically now I'm gonna go ahead and just call that 400 just for my own sanity, really. And the torque number absolutely increased all the way up to 445.65. It's a pretty good amount of torque, especially on a stock bottom end two valve. So I'm probably done adding boost or any more power to it just because I want this bottom end to live. It does have 165,000 miles on it. So if you're wondering about say like a Flowmaster, another chambered style muffler on your car, really just to quieten it down or just change the tone. Uh, in my sake, I just missed that uh, raw Mustang sound that you used to hear. Um, if you're gonna do that and you're wanting to look for power, then I suggest absolutely going with electric cutout because that way you'll have a straight through path and you'll only use it when you wanna use it. This is just a, a quick video, just throw the data, throw the facts, um, just to show physical proof of a back-to-back -back run where you can see what a muffler really does to a, a turbo car in, in general. Now, if it was in a, or uh, if it was a blower car, I don't think it would change that much power wise because uh, it's not really dependent on spool. Uh, that back pressure is gonna, you know, slow down the spool and that's what that really runs into. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Uh, we'll probably have a trans build uh, coming up here in the near future. So you don't wanna miss it. See ya.